Right, good morning and welcome back to an absolutely glorious day here in the Waveney Valley. Beautiful, beautiful winter's morning. First bit of frost. Anyway, enough about that. So a little bit of a review video today. So we're going to be taking a look at the Lifesaver Cube. Thanks for joining us. So we're taking a look at the Lifesaver Cube today, which is a water purifier. And it's absolutely perfect for something like this if you're doing some roof tent camping, overlanding, or if you've got a base camp where you're going to be staying in a base camp for a few days. It just means that you haven't got to keep uh, filtering out of a small little bottle there all the time. You've got five liters of water that you can literally just turn the tap on and you've got fresh drinking water. Let's take a look at some of the functions of it. So looking at the Lifesaver Cube, it's cubed in design as you can see. You've got a handle on the back just here. This is where you fill up with your dirty water, just on the top just there. And then that is also your pump where you put your pressure into the unit. And then you've got a, just a twist tap just here just to open and then twist just to close. Now there is something you need to do before you use this. You need to prime the unit because the, the cartridge inside is covered in like a, a glycerin type thing just to protect it while it's in storage. So we need to give that a wash. So let's look at priming the Lifesaver Cube. So the first thing you need to do when priming the Lifesaver Cube is fill it up with some clean water. And then once that's filled up, we're just gonna replace the pump and then we're just gonna leave that for 10 minutes. Right, so that's 10 minutes up. So all we need to do now is just discard the water and fill it up again. So the next thing we need to do is pump this 20 to 30 times. But before we do that, the best thing to do is just release the top of the tap here. Just turn the tap slightly so it's facing on a 90 degree there. And then once you turn this onto its side, then you can pump 20 to 30 times. And then we're gonna release all of the water through the tap. So we've done 20 to 30 pumps. Now all we're gonna do is just open the tap and let all of the water drain through the filter. Now as the pressure decreases, we're just gonna keep the pressure topped up by pumping some more pressure into it. So there we go, that's the Lifesaver Cube, all primed and ready to go. Now there's a couple of other things I need to mention. So I mentioned before that the filter is, does 5,000 liters of water. And basically the way that you know you need to change your filter is it will basically just stop working. And that's when you need to replace your filter. And I'll show you how to replace a filter a little bit later. But the other thing that we need to do with this is fit the activated charcoal filter inside of the, the tap here. Now, as I said, this will go, this will work as it is now. This will filter water safely as it is now. But the activated carbon filter, basically what that will do, that will get rid of any sort of impurities, any hard taste or anything within the water, especially like if you're filling up from mountain lakes and you get that dank sort of peaty taste to the water, then that activated carbon filter will help get rid of that. So I'll show you how we fit that. So in the box with the Lifesaver Cube, you get this little bag inside. So inside of there, you've got a couple of spare O-rings, you've got your activated carbon filter, and you've got a cap just to put over the top of it as well. So what we'll do is we'll get out the activated carbon filter. We'll just remove the tap. So we'll take the activated carbon filter out of the bag, and then inside of the tap, it literally just sits inside of there. So we'll replace the tap now. So there we are, it's all primed, all ready. Let's go fill it up with water and see how it is. Then when you fill up the cube, just make sure that you keep the tap out of the water. So as I mentioned before, when you're filling it up out of the river or out of a lake, make sure your tap doesn't go into the water because you don't want to contaminate the tap there. So we've got that full up with dirty water. So all we're gonna do is pump 20 to 30 times again, get some pressure inside of that, and let's see how it tastes. So to use a tap, you can literally just push the tap down or you can turn it anti-clockwise to lock it open. Right, so there we go. Eau de River Waveney. Let's see how this tastes. It'll be interesting after all of the floods and everything we've had recently. Let's see what it's like. No aftertaste at all. Absolutely none. And it feels great after all that beer at the beer festival last night as well. So let's talk about routine care and maintenance of the Lifesaver Cube. So it's recommended that you keep an inch of water inside the Lifesaver Cube at all times. And that's basically there to keep the filter from going dry. As Soon as that filter goes dry, then it's not gonna function at all. 
The next thing is obviously you're filling up with dirty water, you're gonna have plant matter and all sorts inside of there, and then sometimes that can actually clog up your filter. So what you need to do is every now and then is just give it a swill out. So I'll show you how that's done. So for your first maintenance step of the Lifesaver Cube, when you're outdoors that is, is basically fill it up with a liter of water, swill it around, and make sure it's going over the filter so it loosens up any debris that sits sitting on the filter. And then just release the pump, and then just empty that out. And then refill the cube so it's about a quarter full, turn it upside down, swill it around, and then again empty through the pump hole. So cleaning the filter at home is really simple because you've got access to warm, clean water. So the first thing you need to do is just remove the O-ring from the top of the filter, pull out the filter, put the cap on. Remember that side of the filter is the safe water side, so we put the cap on and then stick it into some warm, tepid water for about half an hour with a little bit of sterilizing solution if you've got. So after half an hour, take out the filter, rinse it under some warm water and let that drain for about four hours. So whilst the cartridge is draining, wash all of the plastic components and the O-ring in some mild detergent, rinse under some warm water and let them drain for about an hour. Once that's all done, you can then just replace the O-ring, put all of the parts back together, and just remember, you need about an inch of water in the Lifesaver Cube just to keep that filter nice and healthy. So there we go, that is the Lifesaver Cube. I think this is an absolute brilliant product. It's absolutely perfect for roof tent camping, overlanding. Like I said, if you're camping in one spot for a few days, it's absolutely brilliant to have that clean water on demand. It just saves from having to use a gravity-fed filter or one of those small filters. So the Lifesaver Cube retails at £134. There's a 10% discount code at the bottom of the screen and in the description below along with the link to the product on their website so thanks very much for watching this review on the lifesaver cube my name is martin and hopefully we'll catch you next time on the next one